am very excited to inform you that I have just won the Da Vinci Laureate Award from the Da Vinci Institute. Now, I am so excited to receive this award and to go to South Africa for three reasons. Number one, love, just the honor to receive the award, especially from such a prestigious institution like the Da Vinci Institute. And the Da Vinci Institute is such a great institution, and what's more, seeing such a resourceful and great school bloom out of such a historic country, it's just so inspiring and so beautiful to me. The second reason I want to go to Africa is because of the beauty of Africa. We all originate from South Africa, and the thing is, South Africa has a lot of beautiful and a lot of interesting uh, things in its history. So, I would love to examine the beauties and the uh, culture and uh, all the things in the identity of South Africa. Because I personally have never experienced anything with African culture before. So it would be a very new experience to me just to get a feel or a taste of how the South African culture is. The third, and I think is the biggest reason for me when I am going to South Africa, is because I am heavily inspired by how great figures like Nelson Mandela, uh, right here, and Desmond Tutu, how they fought for uh, freedom, fought for peace, and fought against hate without using hate. I especially admire how great figures like Nelson Mandela and Desmond Tutu brought peace to South Africa by not using guns or war or weapons, but by using peace and love for sincerity for all. Without using violence, they achieved a way. They achieved their goal. And I, well, see that that is an inspiring way. I see that as an inspiration to tell the world that you don't need to achieve your goals with war because you can also achieve your goals with peace and empathy. They're just at far less the cost. You can achieve your goals without needing to hate others, without needing to kill others, without needing to engage in war with others. You don't need to fight fire with fire. Likewise, you don't need to fight hate with hate. You can fight hate with love. And the three things I would like to talk about in my commencement speech for uh, the Da Vinci Institute of Technology Management is <laughs> number one, Education is a double-edged sword. Education itself isn't exactly the sword. It's just the blade, or the handle, or the grip, or whatever you call it. Now, education is only the uh, grip. However, the blade is the technological advancement that comes from education. Now, if you educate a child to do something, they, it then they will do that thing. You educate a child you, to do violence, to do terrorism, to use brutality to get what you want. And most people naturally assume they need to do that to get what they want because that's how it was like uh, back in the old days and uh, when our ancestors had no concept of peace or love. Back in the... Uh, but now the thing is you should not use violence or war or brutality to fight for things you want. You should use peace. You should unleash love and peace. However, technological advancement can actually hinder that. If you teach a child brutality, then they will use their tools around them, including math and science, to engineer brutality. But if you teach a child peace, then they will use the tools around them, math and science, to engineer peace. That is my first point. Education is a double-edged sword, and you have to you figure out how to use it the right way. To teach your uh, kids the right way to use education, you must teach them empathy. You must teach them peace and love. You must teach them to feel for others, have the perspective of others, and not kill blindly for your own benefit, for your own 